Hi everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Well, I hope uh, your week is off to as good a start as mine is. And I wanted to start the week off by talking about my uh, raw vegan approach. And my raw vegan approach could be uh, basically summed up in three words. Enjoy the ride. You know, um, this lifestyle, and let me just preface by saying that, uh, as always, this channel is about me. It's just kind of showing what I do on this lifestyle. It's not preaching that this is your way or the only way or you should do this or you shouldn't do that. Just kind of sharing uh, with you what I do on this. And, you know, from the very beginning, it was just like I didn't want to, I, I got in this lifestyle, you know, you start doing this and you probably start networking with some people and you start looking around online and you see what other people are doing. And I quickly established a few things that I wasn't interested in right off the bat. And, um, you know, it's worked out pretty well for me. Worked out in the sense that I'm happy in this lifestyle. I feel like I'm pretty fairly, I'm mentally balanced. Um, I'm not, you know, like uh, anal about this and always anxious. And uh, I don't know, I just like, I enjoy this lifestyle. And that's why I've said, enjoy the ride. Enjoy the ride could be my philosophy on um, my raw vegan approach because I enjoy this lifestyle every day. I don't, over, I don't take it overly seriously. Um, you know, I just enjoy eating food. I enjoy eating good food. I enjoy eating a lot of fruits, a lot of uh, green vegetables, a lot, a lot of carbs. Um, and I just don't wanna make too uh, serious of an ordeal out of it. Um, you know, if, uh, if you haven't picked that up from watching my channel yet, I'm not, a, I'm not big. I'm not one of those people that likes a lot of rules and a lot of uh, things to follow and a lot of stuff to remember like that. Um, I like to learn the basics and just kind of make it up in my way as I go. Um, you know, because there's just too many, I, I, I noticed right off the bat, there was just too many uptight people in this lifestyle. Um, on the rules things you know in the beginning i start they were always like they're never really like flowing they're never really like happy they're just always kind of straight like you know af afraid they're doing something wrong they're going to do something wrong they want to follow every rule um <laughs> kind of like you know i i don't i just don't have the time you know i have people ask me sometimes and they probably think like well what's wrong with this goofball and i'm not one of the hardcore raw vegans and this channel is probably not the most interesting place in the world for the hardcore raw vegans because my eyes glass over when when people start you know questioning every ingredient like you know you do a recipe or you're just sharing something and the and the ingredients are kind of a side thing oh is that fully raw you know the whole wanting to know is every ingredient fully raw um another one that i just from the very beginning i just said okay i'm avoiding that that's just not my thing and things that i say that are not my thing i'm not necessarily criticizing them we just all have our own way that we follow on anything we do and things that resonate with us, things that don't resonate with us, things we like, things we don't. The never ending detox, I decided right from the beginning. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not interested in chattering about that all day. I'm not interested in networking. Um, I'm not, I'm just not interested in that, that, uh, never ending detox. It just doesn't, it just doesn't interest me whatsoever. Um, and I think it's kind of like uh, putting too much focus in a, in a certain area. Like, you know, if we're eating clean, healthy, uh, whole plant-based foods, our body's getting the bad stuff out of there. Now, once again, I'm not, I don't, and I don't even get into the discussions on that. If you want to detox, go detox. Go follow the people that talk all about detox and detox for the next 10 years. Like I say, I don't ever really necessarily try to talk anybody into anything just what I'm doing. And, and that's just something that I had no interest in, in from the very beginning. Um, flexibility, you know, like my approach, uh, I like my approach being a bit flexible in this lifestyle. Um, I believe in the raw vegan lifestyle. My body does best when I'm eating fully raw vegan, but for practicalities in my life, I'm not going to go to extremes and I'm not going to put in that extra little <laughs> bit of effort just to stay fully raw all the time. For example, when I travel, you know, I'm not, I'm focusing on eating as clean as I can when I travel, staying hydrated so that I feel good when I get there. And I'm not focusing on like, okay, is every bite of everything on my cup travel day or two raw? Um, you know, I, I just, it's just not for me to worry about if I'm fully raw 100% of the time. I get to the States, you know, it's more convenient for me to add in a little cooked food there. 
Probably technically, yes, in Alabama, I could be fully raw if I wanted to, but I'm just not going to. I don't put enough value on staying 100% fully raw all the time as to, you know, like I say, spend so much time on food when I'm in the States when I can just eat a little bit of uh, clean cooked food while I'm there. Um, moderation. Now, what I talk, when I talk about moderation in my lifestyle, I'm not talking about moderation the same way a lot of people do. Um, moderation to a lot of people means, okay, I can, I can eat bad things in moderation. I don't eat bad things. I don't, well, and bad is relative, but as far as junk or, you know, just really bad stuff, when I say I eat something that's a little bit different for me, and I, I like, I don't have cheat meals or cheat days, but this kind of ties in because... I guess that goes into semantics too, because I guess any technically you probably could consider any day that I eat, that I give myself permission to eat something I don't normally eat on a regular basis, a bit of a cheat day, but I will qualify by saying anything that would remotely resemble a cheat day for me would just be like, you know, eating a little something extra, eating, combining something a little bit differently. It doesn't mean I, I'm definitely not going non-vegan. I'm not, you know, eating, generally I'm not eating a lot of processed with that. Um, you know what I mean, but I, I just, I'm not going to get into that extremism and that worrying about, you know, like every little detail of this lifestyle. I try to, you know, focus on the important stuff. I, like I say, I keep it simple. I'm a simple person. Life works best for me. I've, got, I've, I've lived complicated. I've lived simple. And I've figured out that the simplest form of almost everything always works best for me. You know, you just get the distractions out of there and you go for the basics. Um, and that's what I do. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's not that complicated. And, and you don't have to turn it into this next level religion to uh, thrive on this lifestyle. Um, you know, I'll just say, repeat one more time. I've done videos like this before, but just as far as my base, the base of my diet is fruit. I eat a ton of fruit throughout the day. Um, if I had to do a guesstimation, probably 65 to 70 percent of my calories come from fruit. Um, I eat greens in there. Um, I mix my greens. I have green smoothies. I have. I eat fresh fruit during the day. I eat whole fruit during the day. I eat, I have smoothies. Yes, I do some frozen. Um, the greens. I try to eat a healthy amount of fat, um, and I don't eat a lot of nuts and seeds. A lot of my fat is either through uh, avocado, um, yeah, I do have, well, hemp seeds, avocado, but I just keep it simple. I just keep it a, a very basic way of eating. Um, I like, okay, here's a good idea. Here's a good example. When I talk about moderation or when I talk a little bit of a cheat meal or a cheat day, that's probably what it is for me. And I don't even mean like going off, you know, like super crazy high, but probably what would be closer to a cheat day for me would be allowing myself a little bit more fat or something, you know, a fattier meal than I would normally eat on a regular day. But anyhow, just keep the sanity in this thing because, you know, when you're running around trying to focus on the fully raw, the 100% raw, every, every ingredient in there, every ingredient always being raw, 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 it can just kind of get, you know, a little, little crazy for you. But anyhow, that's my approach. It's just a real simple, basic approach. And it's about, like I say, going back to what I say, those three words, enjoying the ride, enjoying what I eat, enjoying this lifestyle and not making it into something that I have to do. And the way that I do this lifestyle, I wake up and uh, wanting to eat good stuff every day. I enjoy how I eat every day. Um, and, you know, don't take this uh, message to be that I'm just kind of willy nilly and I'll eat whatever. I mean, I eat very clean. A very clean um, but there's no need to be a fanatic in it you know I've never found too many fanatics that are healthy whether in body or in mind so anyhow hope you guys enjoyed this one if you like it please give me a thumbs up hope you'll hit that subscribe button and uh, click on the little bell and uh, check send notifications so you'll stay subscribed and I hope your week's off to a great start love you guys peace